All right, it's time to continue on some more of Mass Effect 2. So last time, oh, that's right. Last time I was helping Jack with her uh, dilemma. So we'll bring a quick recap here. We're gonna. Hey, Arash. You promised us lots of salvage. Yeah, we're gonna Fine. skip all this. Then I'm coming in there, and we're gonna talk salvage. You're in my way. Get them. Kill them on my own. I want them dead. It's interesting that I have to do this all over again. But I guess this would be a good way to say, this is what happened the last time. So we're gonna skip a bunch of this stuff here. Come out. We know you're here. My name. Or so many years. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this. I think we're using a, a little like different. This, it doesn't forget you. It follows you. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew, how to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? You do the same thing to new kids? Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth. Oh, they yeah, did yeah, such yeah, horrible about this. things to There's us. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that. Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy, and he's never going to restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Fuck! Get out of here. Go! He's not worth chasing. None of it is. If you're done here, let's plant the bomb and get out. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed. But it's all different. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. Never did any good. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. Okay, no more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell.
right, this is where we left off. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room. Elusive man uh, wants to speak to me, huh? What do you want? You know, it's funny is that I still have yet to get the Justicar. Huh. Well, anyways, let's go see what the elusive man wants. Passing the elusive man through, Commander. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corlys system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. And if you're not careful, my information will kill you. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. Well... Let's go. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck.
never saw a ship like this before. Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access and we don't have enough camera to so great to clear them out. Marking location to your hard suit computer. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. Maybe the missing people are aboard. If they're still alive. Same containers as on Horizon. Only these are empty. No way for a man to go. Trapped in there, completely at the Collector's mercy. What the hell happened here? Lovely. Why would the collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around? Probably test subjects. Just tossed them out when they were done with them. They're dead. Nothing we can do. Keep moving. even experimented on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. I can't believe the species still exists. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. Whatever they used to be, the collectors work for the Reapers now. And we still have to stop them. Damn straight! They're not doing that shit to us! Let's find what we need before the collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Not entirely sure about the other weapons, though. Heads up. More of those pods on the ceiling. Hundreds. I wonder how many have people in them. Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. me for two years way beyond coincidence something doesn't add up commander watch your back son of a bitch they couldn't fill all those 
pods, even if they took every colonist in the Terminus. They're going after Earth. Not if we stop them. And we're gonna do so by just walking and not killing a single thing. Walking and walking and walking. On the platform there, looks like a control panel. Where are the bodies from the crew? Something's wrong here. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Tell me, I think we got deja vu.
I have regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors would source. It is unusual. What are you getting at? Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. I knew Cerberus would screw me again. I'm gonna crush his head. Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. How's it going? I'm doing all right. Attack. Okay, EDM, which way do we go now? North, south? Hang on. Okay, we gotta go straight. We're going the right way.
Fire. Oh, oh, the TV series of Chicago Fire. I think that's an old. I think that's an older series. I think it was, it was an ABC. I think that uh presented it. I remember seeing ads for it. Eating. We've got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall three two one seven. Rerouting commands through firewall seven one six four. I have successfully opened a door on the opposite wall. I will keep it open as long as I can. Whenever someone says as long as they can, you know that's a short time duration. It must be getting close to the end. I'll take it. Sorry, it's my inner OCD kicking in. I always gotta explore every square inch because you never know what you're gonna find. Yeah, then I'm not going down that way, so we gotta go the long route. We gotta go. Let's get out of here. We have to go. You heard the man. Everybody onto the Normandy. Move. Strap in, people. 
I'm gonna make him work for it this time. Just love our good friend, the elusive man. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. She also discovered that the Turian distress signal originated from the collectors. There's no way you thought it was real. Without that information, we don't reach the collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap. But I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There were always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie. Tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. 
He tries something like that again, and the Collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is gonna work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld, based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the Collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the Collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. Tough choice. Continue to build up the team, or go investigate the derelict Reaper. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. An AI on board is proving to be very useful. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. All right, so with that, actually, before I do anything else, I gotta go get, I gotta get the just a car. And of course, this is just a massive planet right here. Moderate resources, why am I not surprised? And I'm almost out of element zero. Lovely. Launching probe. Probe launched. Away. 
I'm getting Throw everything away. but element zero. I'm not surprised. Probe launched. Launching probe. missions. I completely forgot about her. say these things and I don't know maybe it's because you had a Batarian father wow you're pulling that on me my father was an excellent caretaker and you're you're the word you corporate security what a life regular breaks regular paycheck still not worth it killing on salary is too easy I have to work for every job I get makes me really look at the job makes me care who I'm hunting otherwise it's just another name on a piece of paper Interesting. Pure bloods are a waste of genetic potential. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases, and everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? 
If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big, diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial spaceport. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim hey, if you need a coffee, go ahead and get yourself some coffee. You out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dagny Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal items. And they are all cold-blooded killers. Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dagny Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. 
It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney 4. I should go. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. We've got that covered. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. You mentioned a crime scene. A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... Humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars, but we also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave Asari space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt Volas. I have to go. Good luck. We'd better find Samara before the detective goes after her. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup.
just blast yourself in the face. <laughs> she was correct on one thing, though. It was time to die. But not for us. can't imagine the name of the ship your life hangs on the answer lieutenant you can kill me but one of us will take you down just a car <laughs> what was the name of the ship she left on go to hell Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The Detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way? I am afraid so. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Makes sense. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave a sorry space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Hello 
again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant. Oh dear. Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. Tell me about this chemical you brought in. It's called Minogen X3. And it's very, very, um... Illegal. Ah, good. Anyone with you know, speaking of coffee, uh, what's your personal favorite more uh, blend, friend, blend of coffee? Uh, he's the gonna talk today. Exposure, the more powerful you get, but too much of it, you die. That's the part that the Eclipse found disagreeable. You've been in the Eclipse base. What do you remember? It's a series of docking bays where the Eclipse keep their private ships. They're well armed, and they've got mechs. And they're all murderers. Every one of them kills someone as part of their initiation. It sounds like you're a swindler, and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it. But be careful. Oh, okay, just uh, just the average everyday copy. Murder plan. to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. All right. So where to next? So I guess our next stop is the uh, elevator. I can't do much with her at this point. Not until I get this whole debacle resolved. I don't trust that Bolus. There's something about him. I have to go back to the crime scene. Yeah, I think I have to go back. Yes, I am supposed to talk to, uh... Please don't start trouble about my prisoner. Trust me, I'd release her right now if I could. It's a great honor to have a Justicar here, but I could do without the honor of having her kill me. I'd like to avoid killing you, Detective. Unfortunately, the moment my code dictates I must, I will. There is only the code. She says this kind of thing like she's talking about what to eat for dinner. You're not gonna lock her up? Any attempt to put me in a passive restraint system will be regarded as a hostile action, and I will be forced to attack. Yeah, that. So yeah, I think I have to go back to the crime scene. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's time for us to go, uh...
This is gonna kind of force us to take different routes. stuff. weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora, and you lost. Screw that bastard and screw you. I'll take it. Well, 
that. Detective Anaya would be interested in this. Thank you. 
don't you go? Okay, head it from here. Oh, there it comes. So that takes care of that. That's all of them. I don't think there's anything else here for us, so I think we're gonna make our leave. like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves that the Volus is a criminal. I'm sure Detective Anaya would be interested in this. Let's worry about that after we find the ship name. things and they happen fear me lesser creatures for i am biotics made flesh you need help you need help for you stand before the mightiest biotic ever yes the asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying but then i began to smell my greatness yeah, you smell all right, but not of a daffodils and roses. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Four's trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure won't get delayed. Face it, Pitney will pick money over friends every time. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. Shepard, having this incapacitated Volus running around our battlefield could compromise us. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last. But, great wind. Biotic God! I'm... I... What was I saying? I'm... Tired. You... May be right. Yes, I'm tired. See kids, this is what drugs do to you. Oh map. Destroy the universe later. So much for Godhood.
Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Justicar shows up. Now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. Heads up! <laughs> Must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? We've got time. Let's look around some more. You never know what you can find. There could be more. Go much better. Great. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. Yeah. Let's head back. I think we're done here. There's nothing else here. So let's get out of here. Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? Let's go. that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. You'll be a great asset to our mission. I'm excited to have you along. I am glad to hear it. I will fight by your side, kill your enemies, and protect your friends. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. 
Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. What am I gonna... Well, through. after this, I'm gonna continue on with Mass Effect like 3. Just but, we're getting close. You cut it short. Okay, enough with the all end. the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. And of course, I will, uh... I have and I'll be doing it. I'll be taking a bit of a short day. break once I get done with team. this. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small I call, discretionary I this is why it's called the Mass Effect of Summer. Take this. All right. So I got the Justicar. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Oh, after Mass Effect 3? Um, I'm gonna start something new, but I can't say yet. Why spoil the fun? But like I said before, this is all gonna take place after, after I get done with both the Mass Effect of Summer, and I'm gonna take a bit of a short break. And even I admit I need a break after, uh, Every once in a while, can't do everything forever. Miranda wants to see you. I'm sure she does. But okay, no new messages. Um. Well. finished yet here. There's still one piece of business I gotta take care of. chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax. It looked suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. What happens to the shipping agent who is cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is and how willing she is to correct her mistake. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. Well, every little bit counts. I guess. I suppose. Ugh. 
Not rainy day to you. Takes care of that. Let's move on to bigger and better things. Anyways, let's uh one thing I really do need to find is an element zero. Probe away. Just like that goes from moderate to four. Lovely. Probe away. Probe away. Actually, there's a slight correction. If I have to, I could delay Mass Effect 3 until winter. So then I'll be calling it the Mass Effect of Winter. And that will just be a straight Mass Effect 3 stream all winter long. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Because as of right now, I gotta focus on the here and the now. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Right, right, Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Away. 
launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. I kind of figured we'd be dealing with the Geth again. No shockers here. So the engine room is sealed off. If you're gonna, oh, I'm gonna say if, yeah, if you, I mean, I personally haven't watched Chicago Fire myself, but I don't suppose for anyone else, right? Time. Just 
to help. Was close. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Still that missing lost operative. Which I've been ignoring this whole time, but I don't know why. There it is. Lorik. Perfect. There it is. No, we're not quite ready yet to enter. There's still some uh, goodies here I want to get. 
Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Scales. Probe launched. Ah, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it if your internet's gone down. Actually, quite frankly here, whenever I see my internet down, in one way it's a bit of a blessing in disguise. I mean, there's 101 other things you can do. Probe launched. Alright. That should do the trick. Alright, let's go land here and find that missing operative. The only way to a. Uh... The only way to find a missing operative is with a couple of operatives. After all, it just makes perfect sense.
need more of that. I'd love to have a look at this for first before we start a uh, do anything else. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Alright. You know, I think this is a good place to stop for right now. Alright, thanks to those who joined me in the chat. Thank you all for watching. I will see everyone next time.